Oh my goodness. There are so many great Christian rock and metal bands out there. That deserve so much more love than they're getting. And I am stoked in this video to share 10 more of them with you. Rocking you up for Jesus Christ with classic style hard rock music and practical Bible teaching. Band number one, True Strength. These guys are hooky, 80s style hard rock, through and through, good vocals, harmonies. I listened to the voice and I kept really racking my brain like, who does this guy sound like? And I really don't know who to compare him to, but it's really good stuff. A little bit raw and garage bandy, but man, it, that might be just exactly what you love. True Strength, definitely worth checking out. <laughs> Band number two, Effector. This is power metal with a little bit of deep purple organ vibe sprinkled in. The musicianship is definitely virtuoso level. They got skills, they got chops, great vocals, huge themes, great production. Their songwriting style reminded me a little bit of Iron Maiden back in the day because their songs kind of wind down this road and take you on a journey. <laughs> Band number three, Biogenesis. Intense heavy music, man, with influences from classic metal and new metal. Solid musicianship, strong vocals, some growl thrown in there as well. Big choruses, strong songwriting, just powerful heavy music for Jesus. Band number four, Chained. They got that 80s metal sound, awesome hooks and vibe, strong vocals almost remind me a little bit of Lemmy from Motorhead. Good production, good lead guitar. Their lead guitarist has got a lot of chops and he's got a lot of that classic blues influence. They might be right down your alley, man. Check them out. <laughs> Band number five, Dark Horse Hero. From what I heard, these guys are definitely 21st century rock, but they've got a heavy 70s influence vibe. Solid rock, melodic, skillful, strong songwriting, big choruses, just really well-written lyrics and music. Band number six, Ethereon. Epic, heavy, powerful, melodic. There's a touch of symphonic metal in there. Huge kind of gothic choir-like background vocals. Their guitar player shreds. There's a little bit of growl dropped in there. It's kind of a gothic, melodic, extreme metal vibe. <laughs> Band number seven is FOG. I love what FOG stands for. It stands for four old guys. And you get just exactly what you'd expect from four old guys rocking for Jesus. Classic, hard rock for the Lord. They've got riffs. They've got groove. There's definitely a hint of Black Sabbath musically in their vibe. There's plenty of chunk, 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 power chords galore. Production is good. There's a strong gospel message, man. Check them out. Band number eight, Eterna. With Eterna, you've got epic, old-school power metal. Some shred guitar, a really tight band, power metal arrangements, great vocals, lots of melody, and plenty of head-banging grooves for Jesus. <laughs> Band number nine, Halcyon Way. Now, I realize I probably just butchered that first word. If you know this band and you know how they pronounce it, let us know down in the comments. Halcyon Way is modern metal. They're tight, strong production. Heavy is a great descriptor for their whole sound. They're melodic, they got great vocals. Little bit of growl sprinkled in there occasionally. Really nice choruses. I thought I almost sensed a little bit of a theocracy influence in the way they played with time signatures and arranged their songs at times. Definitely an onslaught of melodic heavy music for Jesus. And band number 10, Image of Eden. I honestly don't know what the rest of their catalog sounds like, but this song that I stumbled on is just an epic cover of a massive, really early, like 80, 81, 80s hit by a band that I just absolutely loved when I was in high school. Fight the Good Fight by Triumph. And I absolutely get the vibe that they are not at all an 80s style rock band or metal band. But they took on this song by Triumph 
put their own spin on it, and oh my goodness, it's incredible. Rick Emmett's vocals are daunting to try to cover because he has such a high register that they don't even try to get up there. They just do it their own way, and it sounds so good. If you're familiar at all with Triumph and the song Fight the Good Fight, if you're not, I encourage you to look that up, okay? Listen to that first, and then come back and do a deep dive into this, man. I think it'll make you smile, man. It's, it's really cool. Here's a little snippet from the intro. Enjoy checking it out, man. All right, dude, if you like this video right now, sincerely, reach down and hit the like button. Not only will that encourage me, but more importantly, that will encourage the YouTube algorithm to push this video out and be seen by more people. If you got some thoughts on any of these bands, especially how to pronounce that one band, how, how, slion, how, how, help me out with that in the comments. I'm going to continue to do videos like this, introducing you to bands that I think deserve a little bit more love going forward. So if you have some bands that you'd like for me to feature in future videos, let me know down in the comments. Until next time, keep your eyes on our awesome Savior, Jesus Christ, and I'll catch you in the next video.